channel for another video if you're brand new here I am Brooke I'm so happy that you found this video first of all before I jump into this I just want to say thank you guys for 2,000 subscribers I am so eternally grateful and I appreciate every single one of you that comment like subscribe share my videos put them on your Instagram stories y'all don't know how much that means to me it literally brings me to tears that anybody even gives a crap about what i'm talking about on the internet so thank you guys so much i literally thought that i wasn't going to hit 2000 probably until the end of december and it's not even the end of september so thank you guys so much i am kind of losing my voice but for this video, I'm going to be doing five things that you should know about dating a Scorpio. If you are dating a Scorpio and you just don't know that, don't know that much about them, you want to date a Scorpio, you are just kind of interested in a Scorpio and you want to know the things to look out for or, you know, the pros of dating one, this is for you. Like I've said this in my other videos before, this particular series is all about the sun signs. So. Scorpio sun sign. That's probably what most of you guys, if you're not familiar with a, with astrology or moon signs or ascendant or rising signs, your sun sign is the one that you know the most about. Like if you know you're a Scorpio, it's that's your sun sign. I'm not trying to generalize signs in these videos at all. You never know truly anything about a person's astro astrological chart until you see all of their signs and all of their planets and houses and everything. This is just for Scorpio suns. It's just five things that I've noticed about them as people, and I wanna share that knowledge with you in this video. I'm going to begin five things that you should know about dating a Scorpio sun. So the first thing you should know about dating a Scorpio sun is they are super freaking nosy. They want to know everything. They always want an answer to everything. Even if you don't have an answer, they don't care they'll keep asking questions like out loud even if no one is around them to have the knowledge to inform them of what they want to know they literally just want to know the answer to everything they like knowing everything about a situation even if it doesn't have anything to do with them they are born strategists they always have like a hidden agenda and i don't mean that in a bad way but like they like to know the details of everything if they're planning something out they are going to be meticulous about it they don't want any surprises they want everything to go as planned Scorpio sons are very much know-it-alls in my opinion they love to have all the information they love to be the person to speak up when someone else asks a question they just love being like that go-to for information and knowledge they like being a source of whatever whether it be like comfort or a place to go to someone to keep your secrets or someone just to ask questions instead of looking it up on wikipedia that's them they love being your go-to person when it comes to pretty much anything that you want to learn about number two scorpio sons are very very suspicious of other people which is ironic because they are the most secretive sign this goes hand in hand with them being nosy as hell they absolutely despise not being in the know and if they think that you are up to something behind their back they think you're cheating on them they think you're talking to other men or women behind their back they will snoop they might look through your phone they might look through your instagram messages they might look through your personal belongings they might talk to your friends they might follow you um they might just you do whatever they can to get the inside scoop about whatever it is that you're doing and they are just very paranoid in that aspect they always kind of think that someone's out to do them a little bit dirty as do all of the water signs honestly they're also really good at um if they don't if they're not the type of person to go through your stuff and violate your privacy like that which is great um they will hint at the topic and get you to tell them to their face they would much rather someone verbally admit what they've been doing behind their back than violate their privacy privacy and go through their things um, they would much rather be the one that's like like hints at it until the boyfriend or girlfriend admits to what they've done and then the Scorpio can stand there and just be like I trusted you really like I gave you my everything 
look at what you did. You lost a beautiful angel baby flower cupcake. Like, you should be ashamed. They can smell a lie or a sketchy situation from miles away. So if you're gonna be with a Scorpio, you cannot be the lying, cheating, scheming type. They don't do it, they don't mess with it, they're not interested, they are not gonna have it. Only they are allowed to be secretive. Only they are allowed to be extra private. <laughs> they are really possessive over their significant others and their friends, honestly. They get super jealous really, really easily, and they don't really like to share what they have. So they don't really like to share their friends. They don't want their friends going off and hanging out without them, and they don't like to share their significant other with other people who might be trying to infiltrate their relationship, which like, I can't blame them on that. But they will go to extraordinary measures to find out out if their significant other is being a sneak nasty doo doo um, bum fool scum scrub that was a lot of words Number three, Scorpio sons will go above and beyond for the people that they love. Their biggest issue though is not fully understanding that not everyone has the same love language. They don't half-ass anything. It is all or nothing or they want nothing to do with it. Like I said, they have issues understanding that not everybody loves the way that they love. So don't be surprised if a Scorpio throws you a massive birthday party and then in return for their birthday, you don't make a huge grand gesture and they end up mad and hurt and upset and they think that maybe you don't care about them as much as they care about you. They very, 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 very much are the type of person who is like, I do so much for everyone else and then I just get left behind. I just get kicked aside. My heart is way too big. No one can handle me. No one, I'm too much for people. I'm not enough for people. Go on a Scorpio's Twitter timeline. I guarantee there's gonna be like one or two of those tweets. I guarantee it. Number four, Scorpio sons are really giving and loyal people. So whether they're your friend or their girlfriend, they're your girlfriend or they are your boyfriend, they are extremely loyal and kind people at heart. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and try and tell you guys that Scorpios will never cheat on you and stuff like that. Any sign is capable of anything at any time. But a Scorpio remembers the kindnesses that others have shown them and they try their best to pay people back in that aspect. If you are doing everything in your power to make your Scorpio happy, it's not going to go unnoticed. They crave the same kind of loyalty and love and devotion in a partner that they are so willing to give themselves and it is really rare that a Scorpio will settle in any kind of romantic partnership because they know how much they're willing to give and they fully believe that another person out there is capable of returning that love to them. Another thing, their temper just like won't allow them to stay in situations where they're not fully satisfied and fulfilled. A Scorpio is only gonna stick around but for so long in an unsatisfying relationship or situation until they call it quits and they just move on and find someone who worships the ground that they walk on because that is like their ideal. Number five, if you want to attract a Scorpio, you should be really well grounded and well versed in whatever it is that you're super passionate about because that really, really turns a Scorpio on and makes them extremely interested in you and very, very attracted to you as a person. They love being around people who are devoted to their art or their writing or their music or whatever. It's like they enjoy kind of going up against your hobby, like vying for your attention with your hobby. They like like that kind of passionate competition. They can see that if you are giving up time to spend on something that you're super passionate about to be with them, to them that is a sign that you truly do care about them and you want to spend time with them. If you're chasing a Scorpio, the best gift that you can give them is the gift of your undivided time and attention. Share your secrets with them. Make them feel special in ways that they know you've never made other people feel special. And I guarantee you they're gonna go back to their friends and they're gonna brag about it. Also, if you're gonna be with a Scorpio, you need to learn to let, if you have a temper, you need to learn to let your temper take the back seat because Scorpios have enough temper in their bodies for the both of you. Even if the Scorpio you're interested in is not the yelling, screaming, like, swinging, foot stomping Scorpio. I promise you they have enough hot headed tension and anger in them during an argument to literally self combust. 
so you need to just understand that the way that they argue and the way that you argue are probably never going to be on the same page or one in the same and you're going to have to compromise in that aspect if you want to get over hurdles and get past obstacles that will arise in your relationship also side note Scorpio sons are really sensual individuals who know their way around the bedroom, if you know what I mean. So if you are not willing to keep up with that, maybe it's not the best match, you know? Maybe, you, maybe not so much. Just a thought, just keep that in mind. All right, you guys, that is all for this video. Five things that you should know about dating a Scorpio. I hope that you enjoyed it and you learned something from it. If you're a Scorpio down below, Scorpio sun, moon, or ascendant, please comment and let me know. I love reading y'all's comments. I love reading your opinions. I love when what I say clicks with one of you and you think that you've been dragged to filth. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel. I am posting currently every Thursday consistently and I'm kind of messing around with like Sundays and Tuesdays. Not sure what's going on with that yet, sorry. And I love you guys so much, all 2005 of you. Thank you so much. I can't express how incredibly grateful I am and I've worked so hard on my channel to even make it what it is at this point and I really appreciate every single one of you who takes the time to even watch three minutes of a 10 minute video during the week. So thank you so incredibly much. We are gonna be on the road to 3000 now and I hope that you guys will be there. So again, I love you and I hope that I see you in the next one. Bye.